put our hands together. One of the friends of River State. Please continue to clap for His Excellency until he takes the mic. Yes. Well, I have to go that side because the Bible says that when you come to a gathering like this, take the lower seat. If I took here and they told me to go there, then I will be ashamed of myself. Your Excellency, a very distinguished governor of River State, my brother and friend, a man with a passion for humanity, a man who is the voice for the voiceless, a man that cares, a man that fights and believes in justice equity and fairness. A presidential hopeful of our party, my brother, Nisi Wike, who appreciate the presidential aspirant, and our colleague, Governor Odom, and my colleagues, my Lord, the CJN, and other lordships who are here, the chief celebrant, and our mentor and husband, the chairman of the occasion. Before I breach protocol, May I recognize the chairman and respect all protocols. I want to appreciate my colleagues for nominating me to stand on their behalf. They have been well recognized and appreciated for attending this occasion. And to appreciate God for our mother, our wife, our sister, and friend, Justice Mary Peter O'Dilly, for this double celebration, retiring after over 40 years of service to our country, Nigeria, and celebrating 70th birthday. We thank God for your life. We appreciate God for our mentor, your husband, a great man of our time, and the two of you are best of the same feather. Anytime I see any of you, whether together or separately, I see humility. And the Bible says, as a student of the Bible, when you humble yourself, you will be exalted. So I'm not surprised to see you attend the apex of your career in the legal profession and in the judiciary and also attending 70th birthday. The Bible also says that we shall live three scores and 10, and that is 70. You have already attended 70 years, and by the grace of God, with what you have contributed in the service of God and humanity, God will add more years to you until you desire to leave this world. I want to appreciate all of you. We congratulate you, Mommy, and our Father. We congratulate two of you, and to say that we're here to celebrate you. On behalf of my colleagues, we celebrate you and thank God for your life and pray that even at retirement you're still looking very strong. And so something happened in my community some time ago where somebody came 
from National State and was eating pounded yam with seven soups. So one madman came around and looked at this man eating seven soup and concluded that he needed to help him. And he attempted to go, but he came back, that he needs to help this man. He made the second attempt, went back, but the third attempt, he came and packed away six soup that this man was eating and left one for him and advised the man that be eating one soup so that when you die, they will know what has killed you. So, we want to appeal to our mother that now that you have retired, we are going to the other side. I wouldn't have said this when you were serving, but now that you have retired, we need credible people like you to join us in politics. And since our father is our mentor, someone who has distinguished himself in politics, we want to appeal to you to join him so that you can be a mother to all of us. Thank you very much and God bless you all.